Hello there. I hope all of you are doing great and you are in the best of your health. So one question which I'm often asked by most of the people that I work with is, how do I make sure that I engage with my clients better? Now, there is no shortcut to that, but there are three simple things that you could practice and follow, which will help you exactly achieve this. So let me share those three things with you and you can then tell me if that works for you or it doesn't. Number one is wish your clients on important occasions. Now, what do we mean by that? What are these important occasions? It could be a birthday, it could be an anniversary, or it could be something else. For example, if it's your client's birthday, then you definitely have to wish them. It shows a personal touch, a human touch, but there is a method in which you can do it. For example, the first thing you can try and do is to meet them in person. Nothing works best than meeting people face to face. But if that doesn't work, if that's not an option that you can exercise, then in that case, you can pick up your phone and talk to them over the phone and still wish them. And if that doesn't work, then perhaps as a lost alternative, you could drop them a message or you can WhatsApp them and you can still wish them. So try and meet them if possible. If that doesn't work, perhaps phone might be a good idea. But you can also wish them on other important occasions, like for example, if it's their anniversary or if there is a family celebration, you can still wish them. But one of the important occasions that I have found out where you can actually wish your clients is when they have achieved or accomplished something really meaningful. For example, they have won an award in their organization for being a great contributor, or if they have won an award in the society or from some other forum for their contributions. This is a great opportunity for you to wish them. It shows personal touch and it helps you build connection and relationship with them. So number one is wish them on all important occasions. Number two, reach out to them proactively. Now, what do we mean by that? So tell me one thing, would you talk to your client if you need them for business or if you need them for anything else? Of course you would, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about reaching out to your clients proactively, even when you don't need them. For example, you don't think that there is likelihood of any business coming your way this particular year, or for that matter, you don't think that a lot of action is likely to happen, but you still reach out to them proactively and ask them one question. How can I help you better? Is there anything I can help you with? Is there anything that you're stuck with? Is there any problem that you're encountering at this moment? Now, why is this question important? It shows your intent to help. It's not just about money and profits. It's also about how can we help each other better? How can we support each other better? So reach out to your clients proactively, even when you don't need them. That goes a long, long way. And most people would appreciate that. Number three, invite your clients. Now, where do you invite them? You might invite them for any kind of celebration that you are doing in your life, but more so if there is a celebration that is happening in your organization. For example, if there is a corporate party where you can invite your clients, by all means, you can invite your clients. Or for that matter, if you're attending an exhibition or a conference, that is also a platform where you can invite your clients. This is a semi-informal kind of a setup where you can connect with them, talk to them and discuss about things, not just about business, but about many other things. It can also become a great networking opportunity for you. So these are three simple tips, three simple strategies that you could put into practice and get best value out of it, especially when it comes to client engagement. So here they are once again. Number one is to wish your clients on all important occasions. Number two is to reach out to your clients proactively, even when you don't need them. And number three is to invite them for special occasions. It could be a corporate party, an exhibition, or a conference that you're likely to attend. So go out there, practice these steps. I'm sure they will keep you in good step and will give you a lot of ideas to proactively engage with them and build sustainable and positive relationships with them in the long run. I wish you all the very best.